Now let's have another example. We have here as uh, in the system shown, uh, we have in this system, you will see that we have uh, two uh, protection relays, R1 and R2, R1 and R2. R1 has a big up value or big up settings of 100%, which means it will operate at, uh, at one, one times the secondary of CT. And R2, the real number two, operates at 1.25 of the secondary of CT. The CT here used is 200 over 1, 200 to 1. Okay, converts the 200 ampere flowing in transmission line into 1 or in the feeder. Okay, what is the fault current here? Fault current is 2000 ampere. Okay, now understand from here, you will understand the discrimination between the two relays. How can you discriminate between different relays? Okay, this relay operates, this relay operates this circuit breaker and this relay operates this circuit breaker. Now, <clears throat> let's start by, uh, for the discrimination, the time gradient margin between the relays is 0.5 seconds. What does this mean? It means that R2, the time of R2, okay, will be equal to the time of R1 plus, 0.5 so r2 will operate after r1 by 0.5 seconds okay in order to discriminate between the two uh, relays now what is uh, what is the required determine the time of operation of the two relays assuming that both relays have the characteristics shown in the table as you see here the plug setting multiplier values and the time in seconds of 40 SM equal one. Okay, so uh, here, this is a value of time and this is a value of multiples of uh, the uh, multiplier of the current. Okay, so we need at first the time of both relays. Okay, so how can we do this? At first, we know we need to get the pickup current the block setting multiplier and then from the table we will get the time so at first we have for relay number one we have ir1 or the current fault current flowing inside the relay equal to the actual fault current which is 2000 ampere multiplied by the ct ratio which is one one over 200 so the current flowing inside the relay is 10 ampere 2000 over 200 equal 10 ampere. Now, second thing, the big up current. What is the big up current flowing inside our, uh, for the relay itself? The big up current will be equal to the black settings multiplied by secondary of CT. So remember that here, the uh, black setting is 100% here and secondary is one ampere. So it will be, uh, one, which is black setting, which is 100% multiplied by one ampere. Give us one ampere, uh, very simple. Now, what is the black setting multiplier? Black setting multiplier is equal to the actual value of current, which is 10 ampere over the big up current, which is one ampere. So 10 over one give us 10 times. So here, the value of current is 10 times the uh, big up current, okay? So from the table, you see that the 10 give us what? Give us 2.8 seconds, okay? At what? At time setting multiplier of one. Remember, this is really important. 2.8 at one, okay? So 2.8 seconds at one, at TSM equal one. Okay, now the question is, what is the required TMS or the time multiplier setting? The required is 0.2. The relay number one has TMS equal 0.2. Okay, so take the 0.2 of the TMS, multiply it by 2.8. 
okay so 2.8 which is the time at uh, tms of 1 multiplied by 0.2 which is the actual tms give us a time of 0.56 second okay so this is the time of relay number one okay so this is the first requirement okay time uh, the time of relay number one what is the time of relay number two okay this is a question what is the time of relay number two remember that the uh, gradient or the time gradient between the two relays is 0.5 second okay so what does this mean it means that the time of relay number two time of relay number two is equal to 0.56 which is the time of relay number one plus 0.5 okay because it is the time margin between them so let's see for relay number two the uh, current here uh, actual time <laughs> let's move it here the actual time here of R2 is equal to 0.56 plus 0.5 equal to 1.06 seconds. This is the first requirement. We neglect all of this. This is the first requirement. Okay. Okay. Now let's get back. What is the second requirement? The second requirement is the TMS2 for relay number two. The TMS for relay number two. So let's go step by step. We have the 2000 ampere and we have the CT ratio and 1.25 of the rated current. So first we will get the uh, fault current in relay number two. IR2 is equal to the fault current, which is 2000 multiplied by the uh, CT ratio. Give us 10 ampere similar to the uh, second as the first relay the big up current what is the value of big up current will be black setting which is 1.25 because it is 125 percent multiplied by secondary of c t which is one ampere will give us 1.25 ampere okay so we have here the second big up now let's get the black setting multiplier it will be equal to the uh, 10 ampere which is the current flowing inside the relay over the big up current so 10 over 1.25 give us eight times so the black setting multiplier of the second one is eight times so it means that the current is eight times the first one okay now from it from the table at eight the time will be 3.15 okay so here let's get here delete all of this okay so at it the time is equal to 3.15 okay remember this is important now we have uh, the time here at tms or time multiplier setting equal to one okay but what is the actual time required the actual time here due to the braces of this uh, discrimination between the two relays is 1.06 second this is occurs at a certain tms right the tms here is unknown i don't know it and i want it so by using a cross multiplication between these two values we can see that the tms here tms required will be equal to 1.06 multiplied by 1 over what over 3.50 3.15 so 1.6 over 3.15 give us tms uh, or the uh, time multiplier setting of second one is 0.3365 okay so this is the second requirement so again remember that we have current first current at tms equal one second uh, not the current time and second time at tms uh, two now if i would like that tms required it will be the actual time which is 1.06 
over the time at TSM1, which is 3.15. So it will give us this value. So in these two examples, we discussed the uh, overcurrent relays and how can we select the pickup current and time multiplier setting.